the original footage we have and since it's a uh, log footage we have to apply the base gray first in today's tutorial i'm gonna skip all these steps and i'm gonna focus on the skin tone correction part she has a lot of greenish color on her face and we're trying to fix that and make it more natural and i'm assuming it's because of the surrounding uh, trees somehow the light is reflected from the green colors of the trees and thus she has a greenish skin tone but to me she looks a little sick and not really healthy so we're gonna try to remove the green color and perfect the skin tone we are doing all the tricks in this one node so i'm going to reset the node grade and then show you how i did it so let's go to the color worker and change the resolution to 12 and then click on the face and it will select one point from the color worker now what we're going to do is to increase the saturation to the maximum. Don't freak out just yet. By doing this, we know which area is affected by moving this point. And we can see that this is not only her skin, but also uh, somewhere in the background. But we're going to fix it later. Let's see the vector scope and turn on the skin tone indicator. And in this vector scope, by changing the saturation, we can see what colors are changing in which direction. So this is a skin tone line and apparently her skin color is towards yellow color. So let's change the hue to fix this color cost and maybe put it around there so that it's sitting on the skin tone indicator. Let's take the saturation down until we're satisfied with the look of the image. Okay, I think this is a little too much. So let's change the hue slightly towards green again. So I think this is much better than how it was beforehand. So this is pretty much done. You can leave it as it is, but there's one problem remaining. I want to fix the red color cost on the background as well, because we saw that this color shape affects on the background as well. Just go to the window tab and get the circle window. Increase the softness to maximum. So you can click on this icon highlight in order to see which area is affecting the color grade. So basically we're limiting the color grading area to her face only and not affecting the background. However, as you play the video, you see that this window needs adjustment. Let's go to the tracker tab, disable tilt, rotate and 3D and start tracking. That was really clean. In order to see the effect, let's just select the power window and see how the background is changing. So without the power window, basically the background has some uh, red tint, which isn't really natural. So using the power window, we are limiting the area of the skin tone grading and leaving the background as it is. Hey, boy. 